Hello everybody, welcome to the Overtax Taxpayer Channel. Every video I do and every live chat I, uh, I conduct, I always get the same question. By the way, welcome to the Overtax Taxpayer Channel. I always get the same question, what do I think of 100 ounce bars and what do I think of kilo bars and whatnot? And, and the fact of the matter is, I don't think much of them. I said it. Wanted it documented on video. I don't think much of them. Now, don't get me wrong. If one fell into my lap, I wouldn't toss it into the trash can. But I would definitely never spend my money on bars that big. Never. Now, I hear that Scottsdale has a 20-ounce bar. But the overtax taxpayer, his largest increment is 10 ounces. Now I might buy the 20 ounce bar, might, because it is a stacker, meaning they're the tongue and groove. They'll clip into each other, they'll stack upon each other. But normally, 95% of my stack is one ounce increments. Both my coins and my bars, one ounce increments. What are you going to do with a 100 ounce bar? When it comes time to sell it, will the person that you're selling be able to afford it? Now, chances are if you looked long enough and hard enough, you're going to find somebody who has the money who's willing to buy it. But it won't be easy as dumping a bunch of one ounce bars on the market or a bunch of one ounce coins on the market. Much more people will be able to afford it. In addition, the larger the increment is, the larger the bar, the more suspicious people are. Many will want to drill into it to verify that it is completely made of silver. You know, there's a lot of forgeries out on the market that are just coated in a very thin coating of silver also known as cladding. So now you got to run into somebody who's can afford it, but then you also have to run into somebody that also has a drill on them. Now obviously, I know I'm being a little facetious there, you can go to a coin shop, but let's grant it, coin shops think the same way I do. They don't want too many larger bars. How many, how many of their clientele will be able to afford a bar the size of a kilo? Normally they'll buy what they know they're gonna sell. And chances are their inventory already consists of a bar or two that size, if not a few more. The last thing they wanna do is inundate their inventory with extremely large bars, bars that do not move quickly. I already talked about the forgeries. The larger the bar, the more common the forgeries are. We all know the silver that's coming out of China being dumped on the eBay market looks very real. So again, folks, I do not recommend buying one very large bar. It's kind of like going into Circle K with a $100 bill and asking them, asking them to make change. They're just not going to be able to do it, folks. They're going to look at you and like, we ain't got the change. You know, the thing about a silver, a one ounce silver increment, you can, you can basically get rid of it at will. And chances are, if somebody couldn't afford the full thing, they can give you eight bucks, nine bucks, and give you the rest in dollar bills that are in their wallet. They can make change is what I'm saying. Larger bars, they can't break it. They can't break, it's not like breaking a 20. You know, it's it, not like breaking a 20 at all. You can, you can walk up with four of these and they'll be like, okay, I can buy, I can afford two of them, is what I'm trying to say. I can afford two of those four. 
so it's easier to dump on the market. So again, um, also I want to address one last question. I always get questions from new stackers. What's the difference between the uh, 2018 and the 2017? Why is one a buck more? I don't know why a buck, one's a buck more on most uh, online dealers, but they always charge a dollar more. What is it for the older year? The newer year is a dollar less. It could be the supply and demand of that particular year. But for you folks who are silver stackers, do not concern yourself about the quality of silver from year to year. Every one ounce coin is one ounce. So when you go online to places like JM Bullion and uh, Provident Metals and Atmex, just if you want silver, just get what is cheapest. For example, if you want a silver eagle, there's going to be a few variations of Silver Eagles. Just get the cheapest one, and that way you have silver. Now, you can get proofs, and they can get quite expensive. But again, in my opinion, silver is silver. Anyway, folks, you have a great day. I'm heading, I'm heading off to work. Take care.